go. Come on. <clears throat> All right. <clears throat> All right. Hold on. My red zone. Why we always gotta hold on? Like you got because my red zone's messing up now. Fuck red zone. I gotta watch that while I'm doing the episode. Dude, are you serious, Chris? Yeah. I'm about to beat Chris up one day. This is a sports rundown. We're running down your sports and all the weird facts that you can keep in touch with. Perfect intro. Let's go. That was pretty good. But we appreciate you tuning in. We want you to like, comment, subscribe hey, on YouTube. Hey, fuck what you said. <laughs> this is what I'm going to say. <laughs> uh, we're the Weird Ones Podcast. And this. Why do you always pause like you to rock? Is the Chris Sports Rundown. That and I'm be Chris. Like six seconds. He worked on that in the mirror. He did. <laughs> and I'm Chris. He always pointed his dick. <laughs> what? That's Chris. <laughs> That's Chris. <laughs> That's Big Chris. I'm Lil Chris. <laughs> oh my goodness. Anyways, this is sports. Y'all talking about other stuff, man. We'll catch up on all y'all sports news and updates. In case y'all was living under a rock. Appreciate you tuning in. Got a point. All about the point. Definitely point at you. My son point like this. <laughs> like that. Oh. With this hand? With the middle finger? With, whatever hand, oh. but it's definitely the middle finger. What that's, hand he roll up with? Point with. <laughs> and they'd be like, this right here. <laughs> what you doing over there, Keenan? Looking at what Big Bob said. Oh, okay. That's oh, a crazy fucking comment. name, though. He's they haters, bro. Oh, oh, These yeah. kinds of dudes are delusional. <laughs> Come on, man. We man, gonna the get to it. All right, we gonna get to it next. All right, God damn. so we're gonna start off. We're gonna start off with a little NFL. We had a game on Thursday night. Okay. Uh, Titans twenty seven, Packers seventeen. Uh-uh. Titans now sit at seven and three. I want thirty seven dollars. Seven, seven and three, baby. Man, I know. What Shout it feels out to Kansas like. betting. You know what it feels oh, like? Yeah, we there. We there. What are y'all there? currently? Uh, we are seven, seven and, and two. Th- seven and two. Yeah. Seven and two. Y'all play tonight, I ain't gonna lose Sunday two night. more games, man. Who? Oh, you, the, you, the, you, the Chiefs? You, you might as well pay me that bet. I need them to lose two more games. Oh, I, I do too. I had, had a bet, bet on that. Nah, Dang. I didn't forget. 14 I could lose games. again. I forgot because y'all wouldn't let me join in. Bro, that sound weird. I had them at 10 wins. It's not. How does it sound weird? <laughs> if you didn't let me in the bet, I'm not going to remember the bet. So that's how Are I you forget on that about bet? the bet. I'm on the, the Chiefs 10, 10 and a half. You under got Chiefs ten and a half with me. Under you wins. Fucked up. Under ten. So if they get eleven, he wins. I if they get oh, ten, yeah, I, I win. I remember that. Yeah. Ooh. Yeah. You want to pay me now? Nah, I'll wait. Right. I already paid you today. Okay. <laughs> For another man. Glendary <laughs> <laughs> got my boy paying to be on the. Pod. Anyways, we briefly gonna talk about Thursday's game. We got our Titans insider in the building. Let's go. Uh, Derrick Henry had a total one hundred thirty six yards, one rushing TD, and one passing TD. So Traylon Burks yeah. had seven up. receptions for 111 yards. He showed up. Your thoughts Damn. on the game, Keenan? Um, I was pretty impressed. Ryan Tannehill, 22 for 22 for 29, 333 yards, two yep. touchdowns and a pick. You know, it's probably his best. That's pretty impressive season. for Ryan. Yeah. 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 That's, 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 that's pretty crazy. impressive. Like, if we can keep this momentum going, we got something for y'all. For y'all, y'all, as meaning the Chiefs, <clears throat> whoever wanted. Oh, whoever, whoever wanted. Smoke. Smoke. Whoever wanted. Whoever wanted. I took Shot. his mask off and it was Pat Mahomes. <laughs> <laughs> we got we, we we yeah. Uh Packers rookie wide receiver Christian Watson had two touchdowns. Oh, and he, and he had five touchdowns in the last five days. That guy is pretty good. The first you yeah, see the first touchdown? That. Yeah. The first he one where he just yeah, yeah just went up. I was like, Shit, yeah. yeah. But I, I say I say my, our secondary is trash. Aaron Rodgers need that player right now anyway. So he does. Yeah. He is that player so far. At least he looks like it. He 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 messed up some kind of he, he messed up a couple of throws. Like he threw one behind uh Yeah, he missed, throw, he missed a hell of throw. He missed uh, Lazard on the cross. Lazard, that's Lazard on the cross. That's yeah. what I was talking about. Threw it behind him a little bit. Is Dude. Aaron Rodgers done? Took the words out of my mouth. He's done. It's he's, just, not, he's not Yeah. Do you oh, think he's, he's not the Aaron Rodgers that we know? Do you think he doesn't want to be in Green Bay? No, no he so they, that they just signed him. He's there. It doesn't matter if they sign him or not. He's just signing for some money. No, they can't trade him or anything. It's too much dead money right now. Would you release Aaron Rodgers? You can't release Aaron Rodgers. You can release Aaron Rodgers if you want to. No, you can't, man. They they owe him too much money. Even if they release Aaron Rodgers, I think there's be like a $50 million cap hit next year. You play. Like, you can't even afford to do that right now. <laughs> you need to play. $50 million, you need to play. He, he still make throws. You like. 
that's Aaron Rodgers. Yeah, he still makes and throws, he but he shit, missed throws like, that you feel like, like. I feel like Geno Smith can make that throw. Come on, Aaron, what's up? That's true, but like the 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 pass he threw behind Lazard, the very next play he threw an Aaron Rodgers like, yeah, little, yeah, little, little little skinny little little sinker. I mean, it's also not having Devontae. Nah, I think Aaron Rodgers is so good that he just does shit that's like. You see a lot of his throws, he's throwing off his back foot and shit like that. He ain't stepping into the throws. And it's because he's so good, he can still get the ball there. But sometimes that shit bites you in the ass. It just don't even look like he's throwing it that hard when he throws it. I don't think he is. That's the beauty of Aaron Rodgers. Yeah, yeah like, it's just what, like, it just don't look like he's throwing it as far as he's throwing it. But when you see him miss throws, like the easy ones, you be yeah. like, it's something, something's there. You know yeah. what I'm saying? You see quarterbacks miss throws, but, like, you don't see the Not top. The good ones. Yeah, but so you don't yeah. see the – the guy that you, one of the guys you think is one of the top guys in the league missed some of the throws he's missed. Like That's you don't see him airball. Like you know, you go out there and you see Lamar jo- Lamar Jackson airball somebody. You'd be like, eh, I get that. That's Lamar Jackson. But like Aaron Rodgers, you, I expect right. more out of you. Especially because not like crossing <clears throat> routes and stuff. Like they might miss a route down the field, but crossing you miss a guy crossing. Like, what are you doing, man? Yeah. And he was wide open. Like that was a tutty. Easy like y'all drew that play up perfect for the defense too, because as soon as he the came on the backside of that linebacker, he's wide open. You can damn near underthrow that to him. Yeah. You know what I'm I mean, underhand it to him. Granny style. Granny style. <laughs> <laughs> Shovel pass. Yeah. <laughs> when you do that ashwagandha, man, you never come back the same. Was that what it was called? I don't know. I don't think it was called that. <laughs> ashwagandha is like some holistic stuff. That's what he did. That's no, what he, he did. Went to like no, some, it was uh, something else, wasn't it? He it did was like, like an exorcism or some shit. I don't know. It wasn't no ass. Put him on wet. He was on wet, bro. Damn, Allegedly. 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 Damn, man. Danica broke your heart, huh? All right, so we also had a uh, Rams wide receiver Cooper Cup has a high ankle sprain and had tightrope surgery. He has been placed on IR at, out at least four weeks, but probably for the season. Who makes the name of these surgeries? Yeah, that's what I thought, too. It's like tightrope <laughs> surgery. That's weird for a high ankle sprain. They weren't going nowhere fast anyway. Yeah, so would you just hold them out for the season? Uh, I'd see how the next four weeks go. They're not mathematically He's, eliminated, are they? They're not. How long is he out? Four weeks? At least four weeks when you get placed on IR. What's their current record? Uh, Bad. <laughs> 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 three and something. Oh, they three they and still something. got a chance because y'all, y'all they do. five and four. So they're right? three and yeah, seven? We, and uh, Seahawks, I think, six got and, six wins. Yeah. So they still they're in still the fight. In, so if they win four in a row, yeah, bring them back. Yeah, because like, you because you, you you wild carding right there. If you if they go four weeks and they win them all, they they pretty much probably like okay, we could probably win this division. Yeah, they yeah, they're still technically in it. So, um, but I think they lost today. Well, that ain't good. Who are we talking about? Go home, talk cup. real quick. Oh, uh, you got it, Johnny. Uh, Rams. Rams. Go home, cup. They lost today. Just focus on yourself, Go bro. Home, yeah. The Rams lost today to the Saints, twenty-seven to twenty. Yeah, send him home. I think uh, Stafford left with a concussion. Oh shit! Who's their backup? Yeah. Wofford. Wofford from Kentucky. I don't know who that is. <laughs> Y'all said it so so, so quick, like because he, he played. What was he it played last, last week? Yeah. Last no, week he played too. Last year he came in. They thought oh, he's going to be the next star. They were talking him up. Oh. Crashed and burned. He's like because he went to Harvard. <laughs> he went to Harvard. I, I think thought he, he went, went to, to Kentucky. Harvard. I don't know. Johnny, you got it? Are we Damn. doing a Monaco on this? <laughs> nah. Wofford, just Google his last name. Rams I'm pretty sure it's Kentucky. Oh, shit, Linda. YouTube studio. Yeah, it did. I saw it. It got another comment. <laughs> <laughs> this, wasn't, this wasn't bad. All right. Well, you don't have to say it. We save it. Yeah, we'll save it. We'll save it. You got that real quick, Johnny, before we go to the next thing? He went to Wake Forest. Uh-oh. Neither of us were wrong. Oh, Wake Forest. shit. All right. Yeah. Neither one of us was wrong. Yeah, it was both wrong. I mean, neither, of us, getting neither one of us was wrong. Nobody's getting a Monaco. <laughs> All right, uh, so the record for rushing yards by a quarterback in a season is 1,206 by Lamar Jackson okay. in 2019. Justin Fields is currently on pace for 1,273. Boo. Uh, he actually left the game today with a left shoulder injury. Which is going to come when you were playing running back as a quarterback. <laughs> yeah. Dropping that shoulder and shit. That's what I look when I see him. I'm like, this dude's a running back. Yeah, I might as well just... So, so everybody... Everybody's kind of saying, oh, the 49ers messed up, Trey Lance. Jets with Zach Wilson. Oh, y'all picked the wrong player. Should have picked Justin Fields. Yeah, he's playing well, but he, I mean, he's, he's not playing well, though. I mean, he's doing what he needs to do to win. 
How many at I this point? So. How many receptions has Claypool has since he's been there? Like none. Like one, I think, or something. <laughs> They're basically no, playing like should, Wildcat. I think. I think Claypool's a good enough receiver to, to make you start throwing the ball, bro. If you can't throw the ball, he's not that. He good don't even give you ball. time. So Justin Fields is not that good. Justin Fields is it. it's not his receiver. Not right Justin now. Fields don't even really try to read a play. No, he, he just draw like... back, look at his first read, and then he's running. Yeah. Oh, okay. Well, I'm, I'm if gonna be it's honest. not a design run, a lot of it I actually look like design runs. Like yeah, some draw of, back, hit your back foot and go. Some of them are RPOs and design runs, yeah. to where he's just running it. So it's not all on him. It's like, hey, coach told me run the ball, I'm gonna run the no, ball. No, that's on. Nah, him. coach is like they're not can't calling throw those the plays. Ball. Yeah, they calling that because you can't read the defense, you can't throw it. Okay, so today, Claypool had two receptions, three targets. Last week, his first game with them, he had one reception, two targets. Unacceptable. What? Chase Claypool. You should get Claypool the ball more. Um, He's by far he like the best star, receiver. Oh wait, hold on. And then his first game. Against the Dolphins with him, he had two receptions, six targets. Okay, trying to get on track there. That was the first game. Though. I would say ten <laughs> targets a game for Claypool. How many? Ten. Yeah, I agree with that. Especially if he's your number one. I don't even know if they're throwing it like that, though, bro. They not. And that's the problem. They they're not throwing it because they the number one their quarterback can't really throw. Number one rushing team in the league. Do you want to throw the ball when you're number one rushing team in the league? Yes, because you're not gonna win like that. That's true. They have one though. Oh no, they haven't. Sorry. They they're lost, not, they're not they lost be three a in a row. I'll say you're they're, not going to be a contender. They're actually like in the games. That's what I meant by like trying to do what you need to do to win the game. You're in the game trying to win it. But they've but lost it's, three it's a, close it's ones. It's a little different. It's a little different when you're doing what you're trying to do to win the game when you're doing it all game long. Like when Patrick Mahomes uh-huh. scrambles, he's doing what he has to do to win the game. It's Justin true. Fields is not scrambling. He's rushing. But that's what he's <laughs> doing to win the game. Like – but if you're doing that all game, that's your game plan. So, I just don't think you can have a position that can't perform at the that basic position. Yeah. duties of his position. You know, if Debo couldn't run routes and he was just great out the backfield, that would be a problem. They would just make him a running back. Yeah, you'd be, you know, you'd be like, oh, well, he can't run routes, but he's great when we get the ball and he's out the backfield. Like, well, he's yeah. not running back then. Yeah. And Justin Fields is a quarterback who's great at running the ball, but when you tell him back up and pass, it's like. That, that's that's shit ain't gonna work. But he can throw too. We I mean, see him throw in college. I'm not saying he can't physically throw the <laughs> ball. I'm saying he cannot be an NFL passer. Yeah, right he's now. just not reading the defense correctly. For no, sure. I mean, he, I'm sure he can physically throw the fucking ball down there. Yeah. But his brain's like, I don't know where to throw this fucker to. His brain. Yeah. <clears throat> I'm calling this boy dumb. <laughs> <laughs> he said his brain. Something wrong with his brain. I'm not saying he's dumb. I'm just saying when he backs up, he looks like one. It's over here. Yeah. And it's like, I don't know where else to look. I got to go. Is that is that is that his for lack of QB IQ or lack of line? You can. No. A lot of times, it's like when they go to schools like Ohio State, they got all five stars around them. Everybody they play, you know, I'll get all five stars. All my receivers are always open. I'm used to looking at the first guy I can throw him the ball because he's a five star and he beat that fucking chemistry major. Mm-hmm. Then you get to the NFL and it's like he beat the chemistry. Man. Everybody's good. It's so like that that's dude's true. not open. I'm not used to like, oh, I gotta read this. Now oh, I gotta go to the backside read. So, yeah. so you said college spoiled him. A lot of times, yeah. Okay. They got they gotta learn to build up to that. Okay. <clears throat> you gotta go to your first, second, third read. Well, I mean, sometimes you don't have that much time, but still, if you right. got the time, go through your reads. Yeah, but a lot of a lot of your quarterbacks, when they go to college, they play with these big programs and all five stars around them. They're not used to that because the first read's always open. It's like the, I had an Odell Beckham against this guy. Why would Odell not be open? Yeah, I'm throwing it to Odell. That's true. I then mean, you get he to the NFL, what? you got, I don't know, Tyler Boyd, who's good, but he's not Odell. And he's playing against like a, a top quarterback. And like he's not open. Now I have to look this way and try to read this. Oh, I threw an interception. I'm red rifle. And then it's like he had like a <laughs> all-star receiving core in, in college, like Chris Olave. And and he had Olave, Garrett. Yeah. The guy that's going to be yeah. like the top receiver this year, uh, Namza, whatever the name is. Well, Marvin Harrison Jr. is, but. No, he's not coming out this year. He's a sophomore. I know what I'm just saying. He's the top receiver this year. No, but the guy coming out of Ohio State is going to be the top one in the draft, I'm pretty sure. Yeah. Oh, I shouldn't say pretty sure, but likely. Sorry, Justin Fields. This ain't for you. So just quit. He should just retire. Fuck no. Try to get another <laughs> check, <laughs> bro. Yeah. Try to get another contract. Paper. He talking to him like, like he. 
trying to join the game. Like, hey, bro, this ain't for you, man. Stick well, to the books. Stay on that porch, <laughs> Lamar bro. was the same way when Lamar first came in, though. But now Lamar is a lot better. So I'm yeah. not saying he can't he can't get better. He can't grow. But Lamar was pretty much the same way when he first came but in. But what like, year is Lamar okay. in? Uh, what, five. five. Four. S- oh, yeah, yeah. Five. Is this five? Yeah, because he did his fifth year option. Yeah, they didn't. They didn't. Really so now they have to sign year. him. Think, yeah, they think, have to sign him this year. Well, they can franchise tag him, but. And I would still say Lamar is not me. that great of a passer to me. Yeah, he's but, better but than at Fields. Lamar's, but at Lamar's current skill set, you would take him over Justin Fields. You say For he's sure. Been, you say he's yeah. improved since his rookie season. I would take him over Justin Fields, but I wouldn't pay Lamar two hundred million dollars. Do you think Justin Fields can possibly get to that skill set? To Lamar? Yeah, to where Lamar's at now. By five years. Over or under Lamar? I don't know. I don't. I haven't watched enough Justin Fields to be able to make that. You know, oh, like, okay. But nah, I don't know. I ain't gonna lie. If I see the Bears on, I'm probably not watching. That's fair. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, they're, their offense, I mean, it looks, it's fun to watch their offense. Like, it's weird because, I mean, their quarterback runs all the time, but. Like their running backs are good. Khalil Herbert. Well, Herbert's hurt now, but David Montgomery. Now it's you got Claypool in the mix. Play somebody good. You're gonna be like they're gonna get stomped. And then they play decent defense. It's just they just lose games because they can't throw. True. I was like, I don't know why you just don't put ten in the box. <laughs> you, you could and just take your chances. That have hey, one safety back there, boss. I yeah. just put ten in the box. <laughs> my next safety about show. I ain't got nothing to do today, y'all. I'm, I'm playing just the fields. I mean, he'll throw it. He might catch you every now and then. Yeah, he I can. would take my chance that you'll miss more. You, but it's like, yeah. Made. I mean, he can throw the ball. It's just yeah. is their line just horrible? No. The whole thing is he can throw. He is an NFL quarterback. But once defense start doing defensive shit, you know, it's like he can't get through his reads fast enough before he gets hit. So he's like, I, I can't get through him fast enough. I can only get through the first read, then I got to take off. Well, you shouldn't be a quarterback if you can only look one way. But you developed that, though. You developed that over time. Well, shit, I know Johnny ain't over. I'm looking for Chris. I don't know. If your line's it's not terrible, NFL, if, if your line's not terrible, I feel like you should have enough time like to when you move ain't your eyeballs. That, no. When you ain't did that in college, you don't even really, that ain't part of your game. And then the speed of the NFL, like it's hard to get all of that wrapped in your brain. Like, man, I got to. Like, well, yeah. you know I mean, what I'm that's saying? what the well, you you're supposed to be like. You gotta, you can't. You this can't is what like, makes the good quarterbacks good. Like, they can look at that first read and he not open, he's not open, but they know without even seeing him yet, they know where that second read is supposed yeah. to be. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So he's like, yo, I can quickly get there. If that's not open, I know where the third read is gonna be. I can quickly get there. Hopefully he's open. Then I gotta make some shit happen. You know what I'm saying? So, so that's Justin Fields like, is just like he'll drop back. That first read's not open. He's like, I don't even give a damn about the other thing. I'm out of here. He don't so, so know that, what open is either. So that that's means a, that means he has bad preparation then. No. That's what I was gonna get to because you can so, so if you learn the plays, you would know where your second and third read will be, right? But, nah, but you can also throw your guys open. That's what I was about to say. In the NFL, you got to throw people open. Sometimes college, just because someone's stand, standing by him doesn't mean he's covered. Like, if you throw it tight against the sideline, no, I get that. You your put guy it can, where, still has you, a chance you, to catch you, it. You put it where you know your receiver can get it. I get yeah. that. But I'm just like, if you knew the playbook and you knew where your guys are supposed to be, they should be there, right? No, because in the NFL, like, so in high school, right, you might say, we're going to run a smash concept where he's going to run a comeback, he's going to run a flag route. Well, you get to the NFL, you might say, okay, we ran a smash concept, but it's based on the look they give us. So now if we see this corner come slamming down, it, instead of running two, that flag, yeah. you're going to run a fade from the from the inside slot. So, then he can't, so it's a lot more to it when you get to the NFL. So when the defense switches, that fucks him up. Yeah. Okay. That's We're what just, I'm saying. He can't read it fast enough. He's like, oh, shit, corner's coming down. Oh, that's supposed to be a fade. No, I ain't got time to look up for the fade. I just got to take off. It took me too long off. It's a lot more to quarterback. That's why they get paid so much. Well, I get it. I'm and I'm 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 not sitting here saying I can do it better than him, but I'm just like, if you got at least three or four seconds, you got you got enough time, right? No, he ain't got three or four seconds. So that means his line ain't good. No, I mean nobody's got three or four seconds in yeah. the NFL. You probably get what two and a half. I mean, you got three if you're lucky. Nick Bosa coming after you, like you don't get that much time. No. <laughs> all right. Uh, but Colin Kaepernick did all right with it. One read. A lot of young But he also had a cannon. A lot of young quarterbacks, when they come to the league, they, like, simplify the offense. They sprint them out one way and do shit like that to make it easier to read till they build up. Yeah. 
All right, well, today with the 103-yard kickoff return uh, versus the Bears, kick return for a TD versus the Bears, yeah. Cordell Patterson is now the new NFL record holder. Shout out. Yeah. Pretty impressive, big boy. He broke the record that he had tied with Josh Cribbs and Leon Washington. Was he the best kick returner or are we still saying Devin Hester? Man, Devin Hester was good, bro. <laughs> Devin Hester, it might have been a thing. Like, if Devin Hester would have just kicked return kicks Tried and never to went to receiver. wide receiver, yeah. like, we would have been a lot more impactful than he already was, you know. I agree with that. So, what about Cordell Patterson playing running back? Like, he's a pretty good running back. He's, like, a good all-purpose player for that team. Running yeah. back, wide receiver, for sure. everything. Well, he wasn't that great at wide receiver. That's why he moved to running back. I mean, they we still play him in, like, that. the slot sometimes, though. I mean, he can catch the ball, yeah. He's just but. like Percy Harvin, man. He's pretty good. But. Percy Harvin was, wild, like, crazy. Like, I mean, migraines. Man. No, like, he was, like, a great, like, talent. Dude I, was wild. I think Cordell Pass is a great talent. Percy like, Harvin was he great. doesn't compare to Percy Harvin, though. Who you, who you think the better player is? Well, Percy Harvin's Harvin. definitely a better receiver. Okay. And Percy Harvin took it out the backfield, too, as a running back. So, who's, what's your answer? Sound like Percy Harvin. I'm not saying. I think so. Yeah, I think he's a better receiver, running back, and kick returner. Okay, I mean, I mean, just because he did them all pretty, really good. One guy's great though, because we Patterson's a great yeah. returner. Yeah, and he's good running back. Good running back, and he's eh. every receiver. Yeah, <laughs> it's close. Uh, also, Lions running back Jamal Williams with three touchdowns today. In the win versus the Giants, now leads the NFL with 12. Who would have thought Jamal Williams lead the NFL Detroit, with touchdown? Not me. Who would have thought Detroit would be? I would have thought. Don't they got Swift still? Yeah. Or is he hurt? <laughs> no, nah, he, I think he came back this week or last week. Well, that's crazy. I've, I haven't seen that. So. Especially with uh, Swift there. All right, on to the NBA. Had Luka, Luka Doncic, with his 50th career triple-double. 33 Shit. points, He's 12 rebounds, 11 assists. In the win versus the Nuggets, most triple doubles and thirty point games by any player this season. Congrats, Luca! Luca's I'm a not baller. surprised. Yeah, I'm like, yeah. Luca's a baller. But are, are they winning? I saw that the Blazers were number one oh. in the West. Yeah, the did, Blazers did. are number one in the West. Yeah, but didn't didn't Luca like sit out again because he said he was exhausted? He said he was exhausted. Yep. Yeah, like yep. he was exhausted. Like he, I can exhausted. see it though. Like, he does like, everything. Fuck, for I got him. this whole team on my back. I'm 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 resting, coach. Currently, they're number five seed in the Who's West. Who's the coach in Dallas now? Jason Kidd. Is it Kidd? Pretty sure it's Jason Kidd. I'm not sure. Is it Jason Kidd? I think it is. Like 99.9% sure. Number five Coaching staff, West. head coach Sitting Jason out. Kidd. Look, it came. Okay. And y'all said I was a dummy. Jason Kidd I didn't know get a said ring, that. too. Bounced back from that old Milwaukee thing. Yeah, Giannis. I did not want him to go. <laughs> <laughs> it was not on me. That's how he sounded? Tyshawn Taylor. But the Jazz are still number one in the West. Nobody cares. Nobody oh, dunk it. The Blazers are. Did you the just Blazers lie? are fourth. No, I think the Blazers have got like number one defense. I think they I have. They all, all have six losses. Oh wait! But the Jazz have twelve wins, and the rest of them have ten wins. Hmm, I looked up something yesterday. It said oh, the Blazers man, are weird. number one. They all number one then. Basically, yeah. What the? F- you <laughs> think the Blazers gonna Top make a run this year? I gotta watch more basketball. I haven't been really into it. I'm still watching football. I feel like Speaking the of the Blazers, Blazers, they did uh Ben Simmons had his best game in a long time against the Blazers. What do you have? Four points? Yeah, fifteen points, Six thirteen points. rebounds, seven assists. He just did that because he was on his way up out of there, boy. He actually hit three of four late free throws when they tried to hack a Ben at the end of the game. And he hit like three of three of the Wait, four I free throws. I didn't think he was a bad free throw shooter, was he? He's a bad shooter in general. I thought he was just scared to shoot, not a bad. I thought he was shooter. horrible. You thought Ben Simmons was horrible? Yeah. I've never been high on Ben Simmons. Shit. I, mean, I definitely was coming out of college. He was. But I, 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 I never thought he was. I never saw the what spark. he was portrayed to be. I never saw him as a great shooter, but I thought he'd just be obviously a great passer and a great defender. I thought he was just. He's that, though. Another body on the court. Yeah. I ain't going to say I thought he was that low, but I wasn't like. I did. That I wasn't. 
I, honestly, I was like, why is this dude so cocky and he ain't did nothing? They heralded him all this shit. <laughs> that was really my opinion on Ben Simmons. Because what did he wear rookie of the year after his? Yeah, technical second year, and Donovan Mitchell was pissed about it. Wasn't that that that, that, wasn't yep. that the beef? Yep. Yeah, yeah, he cheated. He cheated. Should have gave it to Donovan. Look at him now, though. <laughs> Spider. Donovan Mitchell been shining. He mm-hmm. has been. He's on my fantasy basketball team. Him and Garland. I got That's pretty mean. Don't I know it? I got them both. You playing Jay this week? Last no, season. I played him. He got his first dub off of me. I got my first win against him too. What, what week y'all in? <laughs> Five. That was your first dub. Mine too. Yeah, I yeah, the week bad. after, I'm getting, I'm getting my first dub this bad week. over here. I'm not gonna he make no runs. Shot yeah, he got his first dub off me last week. <laughs> shit, we was all scrubbing this week. Honestly. Me too. Y'all got to pick better teams, man. I got I a good team. A good team. It seemed like I every week I play the person that scores the most points that week, and I just lose. Sucks. More more than points out here. Yeah. All right. Well, next we got Joel Embiid. He went crazy last Got a week. lot to talk about him. That 98.7 night, huh, John? He had his, uh, yeah, he, had, he actually went 42, 10, and 6 in the win versus the Hawks. That's, that's pretty fantastic. Then he had 59, 11, and 8 with seven Shit. blocks that in the win the versus the Jazz. Game. He scored 101 points in 24 hours. I need that drill and beat every night, though. Yeah. Then he followed it up with a 32, 11, and 8 game to beat Giannis and the Bucks. Okay. And then... 32, 9, and 6 in loss versus Timberwolves. Mm, some chunky numbers, yeah. bro. What, damn near 200 points in a week? That's pretty good. That's damn good. I was thinking right there. Yeah, he went 42 and then 59, 101 points in 24 hours. Who's going to go player? Giannis. If they he, thought Giannis. If he play, if he, it, it's, it I don't know if Giannis can guard him because he's too big to, for Giannis to go. Giannis has beat him like eight times, though. The Bucks. Kick their ass all the time. I don't know what's up. Yeah. With Philly's just not that good. I don't think they play good. Yeah, and uh Tyrese Maxey. He's out just, for like what? Yep. He had a uh, twenty four four and five at the half before he left the game with the left foot injury. Yeah, they said it's like a fracture or something. A small fact fracture in his yeah. foot out hey. three to four weeks. When you say turf toe. When you say they just don't play good. I don't think the strategy they play with is the best strategy for Philly. You play to win the game. Yeah, but Herm like when, said that. when you watch the Lakers play with Shaq, he's like, Shaq's getting the ball. He's the best player. He's going to bully that guy. You watch the Lake, I mean, uh, Philly play, it ain't the same thing. It's like Joel Embiid is by far the biggest and best player out on the court, but he'd be like out there somewhere, and they don't throw him the ball. I just want you to say it. It's just crazy what he just can say. It. it just be crazy? <laughs> Not that. Nope, nope, nope. Say what? Doc's overrated. I don't think Doc's overrated. I think, you know, he has some bad luck. He might be a tinge overrated, but. <laughs> so it's just crazy what Embiid can do like that big of a dude with a broken back like he got the stuff big, he be doing shoot all that like nobody should be able to hold him maybe Rudy Gobert nah. Rudy just Gobert he can't God, hold him Rudy Gobert just he's great on defense him. yeah but down in the paint he can't hold him out there on the nah, perimeter he's too little. not no, even Embiid probably not on the perimeter but in the paint I think he can hold his own for sure Course. He's been defensive player of the year how many times? Three times? Yeah. <laughs> He'll make it hard for him for sure. But yeah. and B still, still gonna get his and his size. Like Rudy Bar- Gobert is tall, but Embiid is just girthier than him. Hey. What? He's what? <laughs> <laughs> Whoa. Soon, hey, as soon as it dropped, I'm like <laughs> he got a little bit more girth on him. You know what I'm saying? So, I know what you mean. <laughs> I was dra- I was drawing a big girthy veiny one. <laughs> My nigga didn't pause it or nothing. <laughs> I know. I'm talking about the man. They like pause, resume. No, you talking about the man's what? His stature, his size. Ah, his size. You were talking about his size, all right. Bro, y'all, then you y'all got gay. Bro, you got Cat Williams there too, though. Like, huh? I think Cat Williams could probably hold and beat out on the paint, but Cat I think Williams. he's Cat Williams are calling. I mean, not Cat Williams. Cat Town. <laughs> Cat <Cat's a> Town. <laughs> hey, this big motherfucker, man. <laughs> Somebody help me down here with this big motherfucker. No, but I think he can hold him in both places, though. Cat Williams is like 4'11". Cat, like, I don't know what the fuck I'm going to do here. Oh. The nigga's booty is in my face, man. Help me. Wasn't he here? He was here in Kansas City. I think a couple weeks ago. Yeah. yeah. All right, John Marie, John Morant. Now you got me messing up words. John Marie. John Marie. John, John Marino. John Marie. I said, dude, <laughs> 
I quit oh, hanging with shit. you butchering hey, people's names. They gonna think we hot. I know. <laughs> we just became legal. Uh, so John ja Morant, okay. week to week with a grade one ankle sprain. I saw it. It was bad. It too. was bad. Was it? What did he step on somebody's foot? Nah, he like the can't. foot was up, and then somebody kicked his yeah, foot, but kicked the back of his ankle. Oh, it was bad. Yeah. Um, it wasn't bad there. as uh, Lamelo. Lamelo. I didn't see. Lamello. Came back from his ankle injury, and then. Twisted the same ankle on a fan sitting courtside. So he was landed on his foot. Yeah. Okay. He's out again. I think this it's not as serious this time, but no. he re aggravated the same one mm-hmm. that he hurt. Some ankles. How long is the ankles? How, how long is Moran out? Is that bro. Moran on your fantasy team? Moran. They said yeah. it's day to day, but they're week to week. Week to week. I yeah. thought they were saying they were expecting him to miss at least this week. Yeah. Shit. He got that old by his name. It's always bad news. Yeah, sure. <laughs> Down in the IR. <laughs> yeah. All right, Anthony Davis had a 38 points, 16 rebounds, four blocks, and a win versus Pistons. That's a good game for Anthony yes. Davis. That's uh, a great game for Anthony Russell Davis. Russell Westbrook had 12 assists that game. Russ coming off the bench has been a it is. game changer for him, I feel. I don't know why. But because he can do – He can control – He can be Russ with the second unit. he's out there with the starters, though. Well, yeah, but sometimes he has times where he's there by himself or just – uh, AD or just LeBron? It's not all three of them there. Yeah, that might be. I it. think. Yeah. I think Russ has to be the best person on the floor in well, order for his game to work. He had that nasty dunk, though. But, but he's that's never what I, been the best player on the floor. No, but what I'm saying is, if he's running with the twos, he's the best player on the for twos. that unit. Yeah, he has to be the best player on that unit. Like when he was playing in uh, uh, Oklahoma City, he was the best player on the team. No, the fuck he wasn't. Who was the best player? Stephen Adams. Kevin Durant. You're talking about after no, that. after that. Oh, when nigga. he's playing by himself, when he was Mr. Triple Double. Yes. Oh, well, wasn't nobody there. Shit. My point yeah, exactly. He had to do everything. That was he was doing like Kevin Love shit then though. And then because like when he went to he could it didn't work when he was with Bill. It didn't work when he was with Harden. He's got to be he's got to be the best guy on the floor. So you say he has to be on a trash team where he can just pad his stats. Yeah, well we know in that. order We've for him because he he's a he's a takeover kind of guy. So if you give him the twos. Not discrediting the twos, but y'all twos for Definitely reason. Definitely discrediting the twos. <laughs> shit, don't you shit, don't you? When he's playing with the twos, he don't have a LeBron or AD who's a ball-dominant player. He can be the ball-dominant player that he wants to be. I think it's just the LeBron can... part. Like you, The AD part don't matter. It's the LeBron part. That's the Because he can't part. work without the ball. He's not a spot-up shooter. Yeah. Okay. I don't know. Whatever. It works. Yeah. Keep yeah. it going. It's, yeah. Yeah, it's yeah. working. Lonnie Walker's playing good. That's I like him. Yeah. They he's said still... the Lakers are better when Kendrick Nunn's not playing, too. Well, yeah, we know yeah, that's that. not hard to figure yeah. out to do this. Yeah, I saw. I seen the stats. Was like, it was, it was, <laughs> Lonnie very Walker's very the uh, pretty ugly. Malik Monk this season. I already spoke on that. Whoever I goes in like that, that, other role, that role, I thought yeah, Lonnie Walker was a decent player when he was with the Spurs, though. He was he, decent. He was, yeah. He's cool. The Spurs were a drowning team at that point, though. Right? Yeah. That's when they first start missing playoffs and things like that. I mean, he was he also out here showing his dick, so. <laughs> That's, that's, that's for yeah, sure. sure. He uh, he came out with other problems though, like he was molested and stuff as a kid. Oh, the dude, Lonnie, Walker? Lonnie Walker did. Oh, yep. damn! But he was supposed to be. I mean, he was one of those future pieces the Spurs had. But then they blew it up once you trade uh, yeah. Murray and all that. You're like, yeah, that's true. Figure it out. All yeah. right, we also had a we had a John Wall sighting. He went for five points, fifteen assists, four steals. Watch out now. And 24 minutes off the bench that just means, versus, that's versus Spurs. Man. Yeah. He'd be like, I ain't looking for my shot, but I'm getting the team going. That ain't mm-hmm. bad, man. He he knows. It's kind of like he's finally realizing what he is now. He ain't what he used what to he be. What he is now. Yeah, yeah that's like, what I'm what saying. He, he yeah. Who's be, the starter out there for Reggie Jackson? Yeah. He's better than Reggie Jackson. I don't know if he is, though, for that team. Reggie Jackson can shoot, too, though. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Wall ain't shooting when? nothing. Reggie Jackson can shoot. shoot. When did he learn to shoot? Like, what are y'all and can about? shoot way better than John Wall. Can he? Yeah. yeah. Three? I never sure. thought Ray Jackson was a great shooter. Well, he can shoot the three better might, than John wait, hold Wall. On. I might be thinking Patrick Beverly when he was. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I think you are. Like, oh. Can shoot but Patrick Beverly. Oh, but Patrick <laughs> Beverly was a good, a good percentage shooter, though. Not a volume shooter. You tell me they don't look like. I can't tell the difference. No. No. <laughs> what are you talking about right now? <laughs> Uh, both of them black niggas look alike. Uh, <laughs> I didn't say it. You bet not. <laughs> All right, there's currently. <laughs> Boy, Just let them know I didn't say it. You said oh, it. Shit. All right, there's currently seven players averaging over 30 points per game. 
That's in the crazy. league. Yeah. Oh, I know who it is. It was eight. Go ahead. But Dylan, Giannis. Dylan, Dylan. <laughs> what? <laughs> and that's only five. Oh, it's top five. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, actually, it was eight, but Giannis recently dropped at 29.5. Wait, so if Giannis ain't one, it's probably what, Embiid? Hold on, hold on. I was going to ask y'all. Hold on, I had it. All right, let me, let me see. pull it back up. Hold on. Think about it. Do, do, do. I know one is Luca. Yep. Well, I'm going to yeah, go. Obviously. Hold on, not yet, Luka. man. Wait. Why do we got wait while you look it up? Because mm, you just need to verify the facts, bro. That's what I'm saying. What are you talking about? All right. Go ahead. It's an easy list. And B, Steph, Luca. Yep, for sure. That's uh, top three. That's top three. Luca, and B, Curry. Uh, SGA. SGA. SGA yeah. is averaging 30 points. Yeah. Uh, I did not know that. I'm trying to think about a team. Shea Gilgers Alexander is averaging 31.1. I didn't know that. Right now, fifth in the league. Shit. We just talked about one. Who is it? Donovan Mitchell? Yep. John Spider's Marine, number four. Is Jai up there? Uh, Jai is actually ninth. He's only 28.6. Mm. Uh, is it Jokic? Nope. Damn. What's another team? I can't think about it. Come on. Teams. What we left off. You know what you're you, you know what you're missing. All right. Kevin Durant. Uh, oh, and then one more. That makes sense. East Co- Eastern or Western? East. East. Uh, who's over in the East? Best team in the league, probably. Best team in the league? Yeah. In the East? Who's the best in the league in the East? Jason Tatum. Yep. Oh, yeah, I forget yeah. about them. Couldn't even think of the damn team. Well, oh, between them and I the Bucks, but yeah. Puzzled over here. <laughs> I just couldn't think of all the teams. I'm like, if I remember the teams, I'll know who's good on like, them. Yeah. Ass, it's a lot look. of scoring going on. I was like, Giannis. No, he said, Giannis. No, no, no. <laughs> Giannis. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, hold on, where was I? At? All right, the ho- Tatum is making a leap this year. I feel yeah. like averaging thirty points a game. He still has. Huh, what he, he averaged last year? I don't know, but I bet it wasn't thirty. I he know st- it wasn't thirty, but I thought he was, he was balling last year. He still has those couple games where he don't show up. Like Jalen Brown was the leading scorer the other night, and they won because of him. That's what they're the like. They're like whole, that's the whole point of having a good teammate, though. That's true. Like I said, they're like the new uh, Lillard and McCollum. Lillard go off. The, the, the nice Lillard was low. McCollum go off. Jalen Brown's the, the usual suspect. When he don't go, Jalen picks it up. Tatum. Last year, Tatum got you 27. Oh, yeah, he was points. right there. He was right Three points there. Points. Yeah. It's still early in the season, so sure. I'm sure some of those will drop off. But I thought it was kind of crazy. That many players. Let me see what they do in the playoffs. It was yeah. still a jump, though. He gave you 26.4 <laughs> and 26.9 in back-to-back years and then go up to 30. Like That's that's a that's a, that's a a considerable know. jump. Worked on that jumper. Mm. Bad joke. All right, the Hawks have put John Collins on the trade block. I saw that. He's currently he averaging playing trash. career lows in almost all categories. You're on my fantasy team. I see this nigga every day. Like, yeah. boy, you a bum. What are you giving you? A power four? None? Yeah. yeah. 12, 15 Alex points? Alex. Yeah. You, he got to go, bro. Bro, you can't even get rebounds, dude. If I don't see a 30 <laughs> within the last week, a 20 no, or a 30, you got to go. Well. He's, he's not a bad go. player. You got to go. Maybe don't work for that This team. year, he's playing bad. I mean, he's worked. it's worked well for them the past few years. I don't know. How? He's been pretty decent. This boy, he gave twenty five point seven yesterday. Mm. But other than that, boy, it'd be it'd be low. Yeah. Keep that nigga just off his potential. You think where you think he's gonna end up? I don't know. Oh man, I meant to ask you. The Lakers on football seems like they're in on every trade. No, nah, they trying <laughs> supposedly. They yeah, on everything out there, boy. They should have been did that Miles Turner deal. He's balling. I was gonna I was he gonna was ask you. That. I don't even know why. Stupid. They said they said Odell should have a deal by after Thanksgiving. Where do you think he goes? I don't know. They said he tried out with the Cowboys again today, but the Cowboys he wants a multi year deal. Nobody's gonna give him that. Oh, go to the Chiefs then. They're gonna give him a multi year deal. Not even the Chiefs. Nobody is. Why not? Shit, come to Especially now with Tony. So you gotta think down the line though. If he's healthy next year, the Chiefs don't have anybody signed. They got they'll have Kadarius Tony and they'll have uh Sky, Sky Moore. Sky Moore. Who's going to be their leading receivers tonight? Tony and Moore. But Juju, everybody like, else is hurt. He's on the one year contract. McCole Harmon, this is his final year of his contract. I think they'll have Watson next year too. So yeah, if they want to, if you want a multi year contract, I wouldn't be shocked if the Chiefs signed him to a multi year contract. I'd say, hey buddy, I got a play, perfect place for you. Where's that? You could be number one receiver. Where? Come on, Tennessee. Who's going to throw on the ball? That's why I tell you, throwing the ball, uh, bro. He ain't going to Tennessee. Why not? Cause they got Ryan Tannehill. That'll be everything we need. That ain't everything he need though. <clears throat> we'll make it work. 
No, nah, you can't make that work. We're going to make it work. You what? Man, you see what AJ Brown? We see what we did with AJ Brown? Where he at? Let now? him go. Yeah, that's all I saw. When he was there, <laughs> what, what was his numbers looking like? OBJ's this not AJ Brown, though. His numbers weren't bad. We can get him. We can get him. We can He's get not going to do that. You're not going to be able to throw him a screen. He's going to take it to the house. Well, he'll take some pressure off Traylon Burks. Maybe Traylon Burks can shine. I, I think the problem is the quarterback, man. <laughs> I don't. I think. You, I think. It sounds hey, like he's in AA. Like I hear you. I hear you. Hey Ryan, but I think you looking at the wrong thing. Last year, wrong last thing. year, I tweeted some things. I didn't mean it. <laughs> Love you, buddy. Now, if Odell's healthy, though, you can get him right now, multi-year deal for cheaper. You would. I think you take that. Otherwise, sign that nigga for Bitcoin. I mean, you he fall for that. <laughs> I don't think anybody wants Bitcoin now. He fall for that, but now they need to Give me Doge too. You fool me once. You fool me twice. I can't be fooled again. Pick on these NFTs while we out here. <laughs> you want this? You want this monkey picture? <laughs> With some glasses on oh, and a leather jacket. Here goes some bitcoins, some NFTs, and oh. a blue check mark. <laughs> and a blue check mark. <laughs> He gonna be like, deal. Where do I sign? <laughs> All right. To wrap up the NBA, though, we had a uh, Golden State Warriors are now zero and eight on the road. Trash on the road. Not trash in general. Besides oh. Steph. Oh yeah, they not playing good. I can't He's deny. Steph. That's it. Can't deny. We can say playing bad, balling like crazy. I don't think anyone are playing bad. It seems like the defense is probably the problem. That, yeah, the biggest reason they keep losing. It is. They can't get no damn stops. And then Wiseman, they didn't send him, they didn't send him to, to G League. Yeah, shit. Uh, <laughs> that was a bus. Uh, oh, never mind. I don't even know what's going. On. It's like, man, he. I thought he would at least be a great defensive pillar. Not so much. They should have traded him when they had a chance. <laughs> <laughs> you can't trade him now. No, nah, you can't now. I'm saying when they had a yeah. chance last season. Even when he was hurt, he had trade value. Yeah, because they're just going off of what they just saw. Yeah, potential. I thought not he was gonna be a pretty good fit. Not in like shit. Especially a big man that could shoot. I say That's I had a, that I had that boy on my fantasy team probably well, how many weeks did we have? Forty <laughs> weeks? That nigga was on there every bit of thirty eight weeks. <laughs> <laughs> Last season. Yeah. <laughs> on the sitting on that IR slot. Said, he don't look bad though when you watch him play. I'm like, man, he don't look like he's trash. He's a trash. talented kid, man. It's just but. like he don't get what's going on or something. Just, he look like he'd be lost a lot. That's what I'm he saying. Did, like, he don't get the defense. He's saying the boy look dumb. He's oh, saying no. lost. Not dumb, but he be looking lost. He don't bro. look like he know where it's he's supposed to be. He's lost and dumb, bro. And then he's only catching oops right now, it seems like. That's the only time he scores, catching oops. Which is crazy because he can shoot. Well, he could in college. He, he can shoot, but he shoots so damn slow. Yeah. His, his, his release is slow as hell. And it's, I don't know. It's like, man. Well, he that tall. I guess there's other twelve tall players in the NBA. Exactly. Like in college, tall. Yeah, in college. In it's, college, it's like, oh, he's a chemistry major. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> he's 5'11", trying to guard yeah. me. Nah, that's probably not. I mean, Draymond might need to hit him. Knock some sense into Who? him. Who? Draymond. Draymond. Oh, he should have punched him. him. Knock some sense into him. He had him. to jump up to punch him. How's Poole doing? Ball. Pool. Except only when he uh, starts. He come off the bench, he's trash. Mm. Yeah. It'd be like that. It'd be like that? All right. Like that. That's a mind thing. On the uh, college football, briefly, we had uh, <clears throat> K- Caleb Williams went for 502 total yards in the win versus UCLA. What That's position is he? The quarterback? Yeah. Okay. You said you watched that game? You did say that. I don't know what the fuck's <laughs> playing. I don't know them niggas' names, bro. I just tuned in to watch the game, bro. Said, it was a quarterback out there. I'm going to relax. I, I, you didn't catch me slipping. I, I watched the game. I don't. I, I didn't recollect nobody's name. Who did UCLA play? Use USC. Oh, okay. Caleb Williams. That's that's crazy. Uh, you, what Man, UFC like, wins out? They're gonna be in the playoff. If who wins out? USC. Really? Yeah. Where where they rank right now? Well, it was a oh, I got you. I got the new rankings that came and dropped today. Right there in the, they're five, right? Hot off the press. From his phone to his I think iPad. I got a alert that said it was the first time with them being in within the top five in like a lot of years. Since Pete Curl left. Yeah, Pete Curl. Pete Curl. Your All right. Is no, they were not paying them players. So we got uh, Georgia number one. Okay. Ohio State two. Michigan three. TCU four. USC okay. is number five. What, what happened to Tennessee? Tennessee dropped to number nine. 
Did they because, lose two or what? Happened? Yeah, South Carolina beat Tennessee 63-38. to Spencer Rattler. What? Wait, what? <laughs> Spencer Rattler went for 438 yards and six touchdowns. South Spencer Rattler. Was that the dude that was at OU? Yeah. The light skin. Yeah. The one that was supposed to be like the top pick in the draft and got kicked out. You know, yeah. It's like, you out of here. He went for what? 438 yards and six touchdowns. They beat him. Say the score again. <laughs> 63 to 38. South Carolina. Scar over Tennessee. God damn. And God who's the dog. second loss to? Who? You said Tennessee. I said they lose two. How'd they get to nine? I think losing one by that much should drop you down to nine, won't it? I don't know. They were they were in the top four at one point, I thought. After they beat Bama. Who? Yeah. Tennessee? Tennessee? Yeah. Yeah. Um, so Tennessee. Then we got that one uh-huh. loss. No, they also lost to Georgia, didn't they? That's what I was saying. I, th- I feel like they had to lose two. I don't think they played Georgia though, did they? <clears throat> Hold on, can y'all talk about something real quick? Uh, let's we'll talk see. about. <laughs> We're literally supposed to be talking about the stuff we yeah. talked about. Right? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they Damn. lost to Georgia. That's what I said. I don't remember that game. What was the score of that game? Um, I got it right here. Twenty-seven, thirteen. Shit, I it guess just so. played like a couple weeks ago. I guess so. They down then. That's um, 63, though. Yeah. That but uh, quarterback Hendon Hooker and Heisman Candidate suffered a torn ACL. What? Yep. Oh, it's so Where are you? Been? You've been under a rock. It's summer for them, man. <laughs> You've been under a rock. <laughs> I have, I guess. Yeah, they season's over. Yep. They still got that receiver, but who going to – Jalen Hyatt. Yeah, they got yeah. a Titans problem. Who going to throw the ball to him? Yeah. Mm, jab, jab, jab. Another one came in. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> check out, check out us on YouTube. Our comments. Leave us Basically, a comment. He said we play contrarians. <laughs> <laughs> now we saying big. Oh, I see, I hold, see, on, hold, I see, man, hold on, hold on, hold on, man. Tune into the corner. We still on the sports rundown. Let's finish this. Let's wrap this thing up. I refresh the side. Hold on, hold back. Like, Let me hold y'all back, man. Hold y'all back. Fire for him. <laughs> All right. Oh. Sticking with college football, uh, Deion Sanders and Jackson State had their first ever undefeated season, regular season, 11 and 0. My boy, play my theme war, music. My boy Deion was like, man, play my theme music. And the DJ didn't play it immediately. It was like three seconds. He said, oh, no, 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 hold on, hold on, hold on. He got to learn. You got to be on your ones and twos, baby. We going to try this one more time. Play my theme music. Boom. And it dries. He said, yeah. <laughs> oh, Snoop was back there like. <laughs> I think every uh, like HBCU should pay Dion the salary, like all of them. He's done so much for them; it's crazy. So because so he's the coach Jackson State. All the other HBCUs should pay him, even Absolutely. though he's coaching, not coaching Absolutely, your team. Man. He brought so much attention back to like the HBCUs. They haven't done, been there. I feel like since like the nineties. Yeah, That's like true. he's done so so much for them. Like they should all just pay him. A salary. Like back in the nineties, like. I'll speak for myself. Like, I was checking for Gremlin because yeah. it was, like, that yeah. big name. That was the only one a lot of people. Well, you had Gremlin, yeah. Southern. Uh, yeah, but, like, I was checking for Gremlin. Hold like, on. Was it Jackson? Because the Chiefs drafted somebody from Jackson State, I think. Uh, Sylvester Big Cat Morris, I think it was his name. It was wide receiver. I think he went to Jackson State. I'm not 100% sure. I'm not sure. But, but he went to some, like, small HBCU, I think. But, but that was, like, the last time. That's what I'm saying, like, the 90s. Because, I mean, so me personally, like, I love, like, the bands. At the HBCU, so I'm like always checking for that. Like I'll YouTube rabbit hole HBCU bands, but I'm not like looking for the football teams. Yeah. But now that Dion is there, and it's like he's brought like that umph back that to cachet. it. Yeah, so yeah. it's like now I actually I'm I pay attention to Jackson. State well, yeah, now, top you know? top recruits yeah, coming to hit college. You never hear that. Really. And that's why I say all the HBCU should get together and say, listen, instead of Dion like taking a job and say like a Florida State or somewhere for more money. We should all just kick in and keep you at Jackson State. It's a good point. Because it's it's better for all. It's the Tiger Woods effect. You know what I'm saying? We all going to make money just by you being at Jackson State. I can agree with that. So if they if they came out and said that, I wouldn't be like, that's the craziest thing in the world. I'd be like, that's smart. They smart. Hell. Yeah, they that's smart. smart as hell. You, gotta, you keep prom. Yeah. And I mean, it's other NFL players that coach at that level, but they don't they don't bring like what Dion brings. But they yeah. don't have that. Like Dion got that swag. Prime that time. They don't bring yeah, that prime time. Like you know, he different. So and even if he, when he, if he left Jackson Canelo. State next year, that shit would wear off in probably like two years or something. Yeah, like then we'd be back where we were. Yeah. So so yeah, if they all got together and just said, "Look, Dion, we're gonna give you like a salary that you know, 
I don't know how I would pass any rules or anything like that. It sounded illegal as fuck. <laughs> but <laughs> well, I'm like, if you can get these players deals. If they can crazy. get that done, like, Dion, here go a name, image, likeness or something. We're going to get you seven mil a year. How? And that come from all the schools? <clears throat> yeah, yeah. I need to get on that. The Dion fund. For sure. Call it what you want, but make, make sure it hit that count, mm-hmm. basically. Like, did you even know Jackson State was a school before Dion got No. No. I did, but not like that. Like, I knew about the HBCUs, but I didn't know. Yeah, you. I mean, I knew about them, but now it's like, you see a shit just pop up on timelines now. Yeah. Yeah. Or did Jackson it, State against Block. Or they're in the what, news, yeah, or being shown on TV. Though? In Drummond? In Drummond? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> went to Atlanta A&T, I believe. <laughs> Like, hey, I know, like, uh, so... It was an HBCU setting, so I wasn't off. No, I mean... No, it was an HBCU. There's a lot of HBCUs, yeah. but no, you I, I know that. I'm like, for me, like, even though I didn't go to college at a school, like, the only school that I applied to was HBCU. I only applied to Southern. Oh, you black, black. You applied black. to college? You black, black. Yeah. You black, black. Damn, that. bro, you like, you applied to college? Yeah. Well, because I know he went to... I know... <laughs> <laughs> hey, God damn, that, that dog! Did kind of suck you, fuck, did you call him a dummy? God damn, bro. dog! I just know my nigga was a Longview Laker, my nigga. Nah, I, mean, I did, that. I did go there. I did go to Longview. Nah, I but didn't the only school that I apply for, apply for was Southern. Hmm. I apply for one school. What school? Denver University. Denver. Yeah. What's in Denver? You just want to smoke? I just wanted this to This was go. before they was smoking. It was way before then. Oh, shit. It was 2005. You saw shit coming. Hey, you know how some people, you know, the world just catch up to you. <laughs> <laughs> some people are just lucky out Yeah. Here. All right. One last thing. Aaron Judge wins the AL MVP award over Shohei Altani. That's bullshit. Mm. With 28 of 30 first place votes. Nah, it was fixed, bro. This is dirtier than the World Cup. It was fixed. So not even setting the AL home run record gets you the MVP. Damn. It's Over still the pitcher? fixed. Over the pitcher? Yeah. Who hits the home runs and pitches? Good yeah. games. I'm going to say it's fixed. It's a business, but, I mean, Aaron Judge did have a good season. So. Great I mean, season. It was yeah. a 131 season. RBIs. It was a great season. Yeah. Shit, man. It still was a pitcher, though. I mean, I 313. See still hit 313. But well, he but was, now he with was, the times, we're like the, the average. Second highest batting average in the AL. Yeah, he almost won the triple crown. Yeah, I know but the was, dude, Luis like Arias or whatever from the tw- Twins, beat him out. By like Did he point. strike anybody out though? No, no, nah, exactly. didn't even try. Exactly. Did y'all didn't watch? even try. Did y'all watch? <laughs> but he played great defense from the outfield. Did y'all watch any of the World Series? No, nah. uh, I watched one game. Oh. I think I watched maybe one. I watched one game. It was um, what's OG? Know, okay. What's OG pitcher for the uh, like inning? Verlander. Verlander. I watched Verlander's game. He was still dealing. Just dude, yeah. I thought he was older, honestly. I thought Verlander was like 40. He'd been through a lot. He's like my age. But he was still dealing. Not 40, but damn near 40. Like 37. Verlander I think Verlander's the, like 37. He won the I, the Cy Young this year for the oh, American League, I think. What? Yeah. Oh, shit. That's like I didn't know that. Best pitch. He, he's still dealing. Like, yeah, he won the Cy Young. <laughs> <laughs> but Verlander was dealing in that game I watched. It was The score was only like... One to zero, or maybe two to zero for a long time. Mm. Yeah. Oh, are we talking about the Royals? Just FYI. Yeah. What about them? I'm going downtown. 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 Yeah, they got two locations. To that would be smart for them. Eight years away. Hmm? Eight years away. Eight years it away. Years would be smart for them. They get more uh, fans to show up with the downtown. I feel like, even though they're playing crappy. Well, yeah, will we have to really pay for parking. Yeah, Verlander won the Cy Young. They would get. You think more people will go see that? I would why, go. Why would there be more people versus? Being on Blue Ridge. Verlander's 39. Okay. Yeah. Because downtown's an atmosphere, man. It is. Like, I you can know, go downtown, you do a bunch of different game, stuff. leave. No, I get bar, that, but I'm know. just like, the Royals fans is going to be there. No. You Royals don't want fans. The, it's not the diehard fans, though. You want, like, the casual fans. Oh, just the. Yeah. Uh, fuck it, we now. The diehard, to a, diehard fans are going to go. You regardless. think, though, like, now that the stadium, the Royal Stadium is moving, they'll do a new Chief Stadium there? Oh yeah, yeah. The, the, I think the Chiefs said that what they plan on doing was they want to tear down if the Royals move, they want to tear down the Royal Stadium, start the new stadium, and then when that's done, they would tear down the Arrowhead Stadium. Oh shit! And build a Chiefs like village around. Yeah, sports so like, complex, so like yeah. a uh, like a Jerry's World. I, so I guess so. Yeah, I'm not 100 sure. Hmm. That'd be kind of cool. So put a roof on it. When I first saw that, that's what Super Bowl, I was thinking. Most like, oh, they getting the Royals out the way so they can build a new Arrowhead that can you can do like. 
when we win the World Cup, we don't have to renovate and take out seats and things like that, and we can put a roof over so we can get a Super Bowl and then just all this other crazy. I don't things. think they get a Super Bowl no matter what. To be honest you don't think so? Nah. It's too cold here. Yeah. If they put they a roof, roof. New York. I think they would give. I think they would give them one if they had a roof because yeah. you, you'll still get out. They they probably get a Chiefs one just on the fact that Lamar Hunt was like a founder of this thing. I mean, but they they wouldn't be happy about it. Mm-hmm. I don't think they'd be happy about it. Okay. I'd like to see it. I mean, I'll see it on Super Bowl TV. in Kansas City. That's I'll see it on be, TV like I always do. I would go to Chiefs. Unless the Broncos was in there. Like, you know, the whole that. weekly note to the Super Bowl and shit, the energy would be nice. What about oh, two, yeah. 2000 what? 28? 2030. 2030? For what? Broncos could be in there by 2030. Oh, yeah. I mean, Broncos we'll could we'll be where? Happen. In the Super Country. Bowl. Let's ride. Right. Broncos he hasn't Country. said that lately. Eight more years. He stopped saying Eight more years. How old will Pat Mahomes be? Uh, he's twenty five now. So thirty three. Oh, he's still gonna be slinging that rock, bro. I said he's still gonna be dealing, bro. Fear niggas heart down. He's still gonna be dealing. So if the rails go downtown, are you gonna go to more games? No, really. I would definitely go to more games. I'd like to be there. I would if they're bro, good. I have like down. five minutes from there, and I don't go to the mini games now. I right now I hate going out there on principle. They charging me to park. That's petty as fuck, but that's my thing. They go. That's anywhere though. No, I feel like if I if they play if they got a stadium downtown, I could find some parking somewhere. Yeah, like where you're not charging. You like, in, like in Nashville. You don't pay. Like in Nashville, we we was downtown. We just walked to the stadium. Yeah, but you're gonna pay for parking somewhere. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I can and park all the way at Westport and take the little trolley down there. All them garages gonna hike that price yeah, up. Yeah, that's, <laughs> true. Yeah, that's true. That's true. Yeah, they are. And, I, and the. You know, the on the road meters are gonna be crazy high and like everything's gonna go up. Like well, you ain't gonna get no free that, parking around this. I don't think it's gonna be forty though. Uh-huh. What, what they charge? The Royals 40, ain't charging 25? you forty for that. Nah. The, the Chiefs are charging you whatever. The Royals ain't charging you. Yeah, the Royals are like twenty. Too much. Twenty dollars too much. And that was the craziest thing. Like, how do you charge how do you charge two different prices for the same Because spot? one team is winning yeah. and the other one's not. And one has hundred and sixty two games. It was it was excuse me, it was still even when the Chiefs was trash, it was still two different prices. The Royals been trash for a long time, so yeah. Well, other than the, the good two years the we had, <laughs> <laughs> other it's than the, the same goddamn years. concrete. That's, that's what, you, what I'm, that's yeah, what I'm saying. Your argument is backwards, though, because it's the Chiefs that's charging uh, insane amount for the same concrete. Both of them. I'm like, it's too much. Both of them. I agree oh. with them. We done paid for this parking like twenty times over. <laughs> and then the fact that the taxpayers actually own the damn stadium is just crazy. You own the stadium, the parking lot. But then you pay for parking in the parking lot that you've already paid for. It's just capitalism. Right. It's part it's of the fucking game. Green. They coming in there to tailgate, charging niggas to tailgate is what they're doing. I mean, it's it's America. Because yeah, yeah. you you pay they take yeah, taxes at you to breathe if they could. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. They take taxes at your you check. Crazy? <laughs> yeah, man, you crazy? <laughs> then when you buy some, you they pay sales tax. Just float around free. <laughs> yeah, they, if they figure it out a so way, wait, then you pay property people, tax. I bet they would. I bet they would. It's tax a lot on of tax on did taxes. Say that they didn't want the stadium to move downtown because there'd be no tailgating. And somebody mentioned you can tailgate on the top deck of the parking garage or some bullshit like that. I didn't know they tailgated for Royals games. Yeah, yes, people out there doing uh, yeah. cornhole, especially and all when that they're stuff. good. Yeah. You see, even anytime, now, no. You go out to a Royals game, game right we now. Went, and we ate in the stadium. But if you go out to I wasn't, stadium, I wasn't, if you go to a game right now, you get there like an hour early. You'll see people out there doing cornhole in the parking lot and throwing a football around and shit like that. Like you see it. We are a tailgating culture here. Oh. They'll be there in Chiefs gear. <laughs> nah, they be in the, back then. You know, I ain't really been to a bunch of games here lately. But back then, you'll see them out there in a. Gordon Jersey or yeah, we Salvi when they Jersey were doing their thing. You know what I'm saying? No, nah, y'all went when they was losing too. That's true. We were there like the year before that. Y'all had winning. season tickets when they was sucked. Yeah. We did. What? We did. They they had season sucked. tickets when they sucked. When they were sucked. You heard When them. they were sucked. <laughs> you heard them. Is that what I said? That's yeah. exactly what you oh, said. Oh, Cinderella must have went to the ball, baby. <laughs> 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 oh, man. This one turned out to be a good conversation with you I guys. think the Rails got to be the one to move downtown because <laughs> I don't think the Chiefs can be downtown. <laughs> what are you talking about, Johnny? It was. This is a good. I feel like we have some good dialogue right here in the sports rundown. Normally, I'd be over here. <laughs> <laughs> That's, why That's true. We'd be over there I'll watching over movies. Hey, my nigga, dumb shit. It's crazy. Yeah, I mean, I, mean, I don't even feel good that great right now. I'm like flu gaming it, but I, you know, it's a good conversation. All right, yeah, flu game in it. All right, sleep. that's enough. And you just going to end my Cut this shit. <laughs> All right, Chris, what's your words of wisdom for sports? Um, Go Niners. Monday Night Football in Mexico City versus Cardinals. I got George Kittle. 
I also have DeAndre Hopkins. I got the Cardinals. I won't be watching any football Monday, folks. Why not? What's the 49ers wrong? Damn. Oh, damn. <laughs> I like how he set that up, Ooh. though. He delivered the punch. Yeah. I feel like he <laughs> dick around this one. I feel like we at least play an exciting style of football. Just kidding, buddies. Especially buddies, on buddies. Just, <laughs> buddies, I'm just kidding, buddies. Especially on defense. Got the relax, buddies. Dude, Got the relax. 49ers. Man. I had a meeting with that dude. So a change order came through. No, 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 not, right no, 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 not right no, now. Huh? Not right now. Tell a friend, tell a friend. <laughs> this show sports rundown. <laughs> All right, that's it. We out of here. Tune in next week.